what's up guys me again i'm back around the video unfortunately today no face but that doesn't change anything so i'm going to be attending to one of my most requested videos which is how do i grade my hdr 10 plus video for my samsung phone um actually it doesn't have to be from a samsung phone but like yeah i guess that's one of the most common devices that shoots hdr 10 plus video so um i'm going to do that day um so if you're here for the first time welcome if you're here before welcome back and let's get straight to the video so i've put about four clips here um some of these are shots different types of shots this is like having a subject so shot at night this is also just a normal daylight shots and so is this so um firstly let me show you um what it looks like in my my file explorer so this is one of the hr templates videos um if i try to open this up i can't open it normally i probably have to open it with something like vlc because i don't know how vlc does it but vlc does it so um if i mute this just for muting sake yeah, i'll mute it so yeah it's a cool video normal stuff um it looks it looks kind of good ish to what we probably recorded on our phones but so here but in davinci so you can see how it looks flat like i see we shot in log because that's technically what it is so let's hop into the color page and let's start fixing things so firstly what i use here for my color management is davinci yrgb davinci white government for my time my color space and auto color space to rec 719 yeah just that's all i use so this is it and to be very honest with you all you need is just one node and all you have to do is come under effects and you're going to go down and look for what we call color space transform you drag that on top that node and your input color space you're going to select you're going to select select 2100 sorry you're going to select, select 2100 and your inputs gamma you're going to scroll all down to the bottom and you're going to select 4000 nits you see that magic just like just just one time see nice flip then you're going to change your output color space to rec 709 and then your output gamma to um 2.4 and now you have a proper conversion so you can see that it got brighter and then that's just that's just standard really it kind of just has to work that way so you see it just it looks good everything everything looks good so before after you see that's 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 a nice switch it looks similar to what we saw back in um vlc just now so let me show you my own approach to grading this even though that I just did so i have a node tree kind of that i use um it's nothing too complex it might use it might look very dramatic but what that is here is just i have a color space transform in and what that does is just my um i now come here so this place is left blank by default so i'll now have to change this to what i just showed you now which is rec to 100 oh shit oh my god <laughs> sorry rec to 100 and my inputs gamma i just have changed to 4000 and it kind of looks shit but um it's for a reason so my output gamma is already set to rec 709 and i guess you could get this because i'm kind of like working on um y gamma intermediate so then aside from that i just have like a basic s curve here that does the whole drop on it yeah it has this like contrasty vibe to it and then it's just some nodes add some green here and there um i could come here and like push my gamma up a bit let's have a look at this um let's have a look at these waveforms here so i actually rose it up too much so just have some play around with how things it is see and then if you don't want to use this you could actually use your hdr wheels because come on why isn't hdr 10 for crying out loud so to boost this you could drop down your highlight like mind you i'm not saying you should copy what i'm doing this might not actually be the right way to do it but yeah you have your full control by press shift h here you can see how this section i'm selecting you can see how i can like it's selecting and then there's no clipping of any sort can you see the highlights i can pick them accordingly so yeah you can do whatever sorcery you want to do so let's let's not waste too much time on this particular clip and let's just move to another clip um let's chase it back on let's reset all i did and just do something very simple let's just boost up the shadows just a bit let's boost up the shadows 
light, switch of the light a bit so that the face can come up just just a little bit just yeah so before after i see beautiful transformation beautiful 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 the most beautiful woman in the world yeah so um now let's just copy all that to the next node what we're going to see now is something really sensational by just right clicking on the previous and say apply grid so i've applied the grid and instantly it looks immaculate it looks beautiful it looks actually i did it on the wrong name but either way yeah it looks it looks beautiful it looks sensational yeah i love that it looks very very nice very nice just drop this down a bit and it looks cinematic come on the green everything looks beautiful and this was shot on your phone it looks shit this way but then it looks nice when you when you watch transform it just looks beautiful yeah what a beautiful day um and then let's do the same thing to this shot let's apply the grid and look at my hand my hand here so before after and everything just looks beautiful so i believe now we all understand how to grade our shots in asia 10 plus um if you like this video make sure you drop a like it really helps the channel please drop subscribe and if you have any comment just ask in the comment section and once again <laughs> have fun and merry christmas yeah.